What is going on guys? Dwan Bian here, bringing you another video, this time a review on the powertrain adjustable dumbbells. Are they worth the money? Are they worth all the hype? Well, let's find out. First of all, let me tell you why I got them, my little backstory of these babies, right? I primarily got them due to the whole recent lockdowns, right? All the gyms being closed. Working out for me is a big part of my life. It's a huge hobby, something that I, you know, really, really enjoy, right? So do many other people. I just wanted to, you know, work out again and slowly but surely I progressed into what you see here, this home gym mini setup, right? It does everything I need it to. You know, I decided to invest in these and it was one a really good decision that I made. I just also wanted to let you guys know that yeah, in no way am I, you know, sponsored, affiliated with them in any way. I'm just literally giving you my raw personal opinion on them. Now, the pricing, right? Now there's all types of adjustable dumbbells on the market. And these babies are the powertrain ones, which from doing my research, it seems to me that these are probably the more premium that's the word. And they seem to be a pretty big company. They make a lot of other different stuff and equipment that you know you can see online. These babies, unfortunately, set me back $1,000, right? But I've enjoyed using them and they were a great investment in my eyes, right, for me. Unfortunately, these babies can get quite pricey due to the whole recent lockdowns, demand and popularity. Working from home has increased the demand for people wanting to you know, invest in their own little home mini setups. It's increased, you know? A quick tip when looking and browsing for dumbbells that confused me a little bit, right? You have to look at the product description. Sometimes I call them a set, right? An 80 kilo dumbbell set means two 40 kilo dumbbells. And if you're looking for a single individual one, then you have to just double check and make sure they're selling the individual. So it can be a little confusing. In saying that, Dick Smith has the 80 kilo option, two 40 kilo dumbbells. You could pretty much get half price for what I spent on these um, at Dick Smith at the moment. It's not the same brand, you know, at the end of the day, if they have the same form factor where you can just adjust them, on the side, you know, and you can pick them up, then they essentially all work the same. And if you're gonna save yourself $500, then I mean, why why the hell not? So also don't forget to keep in mind that shipping costs as well on top of that, right? You're paying for 80 kilo shipping, it's gonna cost you a little bit. Could be around 40, 50, $60 if you're lucky. It's a good price because at the end of the day, compared to what you would pay for a whole dumbbell rack, paying for the rack and all the dumbbells that you would need in your setup, chances are that this is gonna cost you less than all the dumbbells and a dumbbell rack, right? Simple as that. From looking online, they seem to have two sort of option variants, right? They differ slightly, 24 kilo adjustable dumbbells, and then they've got the 40 kilo dumbbell option. They have a, a weight range from five kilos all the way to 40 kilos, which is a big weight range, right? As you can see all these plates here. Looking online, the 24 kilo dumbbells go from 2.5 kilos to 24 kilos. Now we've got to move on to the pros and cons. All right, so let's just start off with the cons, get them out of the way and end on a high note, shall we? Some of the cons, if I really had to pick out, is the fact that when you're putting the weights back, especially when you go a bit heavier, it can be a bit hard to align all the weights to go in smoothly. So you might be there and you're stuck there for a bit, might have to grab the other hand and try and guide it to fit in. I've noticed that's happened to me a few times, but you know, eventually, you get past it. It's not the biggest deal break in the world. It's just something to be aware of. Another thing you have to keep in mind, right? As good as these may be, they still are considered quite fragile and have all these moving parts, right? So they have all these mini parts and, and twists that they twist around in. These can be quite fragile when you're using them. So, you know, if it's not obvious enough, just don't drop these babies. Don't drop these dumbbells. They're gonna break. Be lucky enough to get away with dropping them once. If you're gonna drop them repeatedly and you're just, you know, gonna be stupid about it, then, you know, they're obviously not gonna last. But you take care of them, they'll last you. It's simple as that, right? But that's just a bit of a con, because if you were to compare them to a traditional dumbbell, obviously they're much sturdier, you can drop them, you know, they're not gonna break. Do keep in mind, I have noticed through my time using it, that this little edge section over here, when it falls on the floor, it absorbs a bit of force. Sometimes you can get away with, like, you know, when you're trying to like drop it, when you're like doing like a chest press, right? And then, you know, you're just slowly trying to hold it down until you give out and then you sort of let it. I found that that's 
you know, that's fine. And just one little thing, these grips, they're well made, they're pretty good and they are grippy, but like when your hands are sweaty, I, I just get a little worried that they're gonna fall out of my hands if it's like I'm doing a chest press or a bicep curl or something. You could use wrist wraps, I haven't actually tried chalk with these dumbbells, but I mean, that's an option there. But in saying that, let me talk to you about the pros of this thing. Biggest selling point, it's form factor. You literally are able to compress 100 dumbbells into a single dumbbell. That's insane. It saves you a ton of, ton of space. It's compact, easy to move. You know, you can have the smallest space in the world and you can still work out. The easier to change weight, right? So I have my old traditional, you know, screw on dumbbell that you have, right? And say, ugh. So you have to put this on, screwing it on, tightening it up. All right, do the other side, the other way. All right, now you got one way. Essentially, imagine having to do that again, and which is essentially like four times you have to screw it on Imagine doing that when you just want to do a quick, simple drop set. Bang. You just change your weight. Oh. Bang. The weight's changed again. Oh my God. All right, now I can do seven kilos. Five back to five kilos. It's just so easy to just change the weight. It's ridiculous. It's definitely helped me a lot when trying to, you know, change, especially drop sets. I love doing drop sets. Trying to do a drop set with these babies, I'm telling you, it's... You lose your momentum when working out, you know, your, your hype, you know, when you're building up and... You're just forced to give yourself a rest when you don't want to. But essentially, that's a really good pro. You just switch it around. All right, I want to do seven kilos. Put bang. All right. Okay, something that 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 wasn't meant to happen. Oh, okay. No. Oh, this is actually seven. Yeah. Now, when I pulled it up, I pulled it up too. I jerked it too much. And um, yeah, but so yeah, I just pick it up. I'll do some bicep curls. I'll put it down. Simple. You know, dumbbells are one of the most versatile pieces of equipment in the gym. You can literally train your whole entire body, every muscle group, with just dumbbells, if you so choose to. Especially for the 80 kilo option, these are really good because they give me room to grow, apply progressive overload in my workouts. So say I'm doing like 30 kilos one week, maybe I wanna try and get to 32 kilos. I can hopefully easily swap to 32 kilos next workout. That's definitely another pro. Overall, final thoughts. Essentially, I really, really like these dumbbells. I'm really satisfied with what they offer and what they're able to give me, especially when working out from home. They're a true staple to my home gym workouts. They really help me achieve and do plenty of workouts and change the weight and give me a lot, a lot of versatility. If you're someone who, you know, enjoys working out from home, wants to look at, you know, getting their own home gym setup going, I really recommend these because they save you a ton of space, gets the job done, makes your life so much easier than a regular just screw on one. Soon, stay tuned, I'll eventually get to making a whole series of just a adjustable dumbbell workouts and what all the workouts you could essentially do with adjustable dumbbells and how good they are. Stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I saw an adjustable dumbbell, a pair for $80 for about $500. What, $80? <clears throat> <laughs> so essentially, as of this, <clears throat> essentially, as of as, as the, uh, essentially as of filming this video, and essentially, 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 so essentially are uh, essentially blah, 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 essentially so essentially are uh, essentially but essentially so essentially essentially these dumbbells you know essentially 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 so essentially you know <laughs> essentially just one little thing I guess you could say is essentially.